Bernard, first of all, introduce your bike. This is my Pivot Cycles Phoenix Carbon. It's 27 and a half inch wheels, riding on Reynolds wheels and Fox suspension with Shimano drivetrain and brakes. Most stuff would probably like set up from the get-go. I'd leave my cockpit pretty much always the same, levers set up the same. So first thing would probably be tire pressure because that changes, it goes down, goes up. So first thing I'd dial in, tire pressure. And then would you go onto suspension to get the bike dialed in sort of fully or do you find a good base setting and then just leave it? I'm pretty base setting on suspension. I run it quite stiff and uh, very rarely change. Maybe now and again, I'll go to the guys at Fox, we'll do a click here and a click there, but I leave my suspension pretty much the same most of the time. If you were to sort of think about Saint in an overview, what would you see it as? I would see Saint as just strong, reliable, powerful. The brakes, small little levers, and so much power comes out of them. I really like them, and yeah, they lock you up. I run my brakes pretty close to the grip because I run my hands right on the edge, and I like the brakes to pull pretty far in. You can see there, they get pretty close to the grip, and uh, I know a lot of riders have them biting real far out, but yeah, close to the grip and to pull in pretty far. Quite a big cassette in the back. So. Yeah, biggish cassette. I like to ride bike parks, and I like to just pretty much have my bike the same the whole time, so I don't want a tiny gear out there. I want to be able to pedal around and have fun the whole time. I work out during practice at a World Cup or other. If I start in fourth or fifth, I'll know which section of the track I'm going to change up two gears, where then where I might do one more gear before a turn, and then further down the track, if there's a turn, I'll change down back two, ready to pedal out of a tighter turn, back up three for the last sprint. I'll work it out in practice and know which gear I'm in all the way down the track. Why'd you do that? I just think it helps, really. Like, if, think, if I've got my gear dialed in before the turn, when I exit the turn, I'm already in the right gear. Rather than coming out of a turn and trying to change down two, I already know I'm in gear eight and I'm ready to go, rather than being in 10, coming out all sluggish and slow and trying to get back on the pedal. So, I don't know, I think it helps and takes time off, hopefully. So then, just to finish it off, Crank's still looking a little bit worn there, but uh, why is that? Yeah, Saint, like we say, it's tough, it's rugged, it's built to last, you know. I'm gonna rub the paint off those things before I'm even worried that I need to change them, so Saint, it's gonna last. Mm -hmm.